Hi, we're going to run through how to do the daily clean on the churn version of the milk shop machine. You have two dispense sides, the green and the blue dispense buttons and the centre button yellow for dispensing. Indicator, indicators on either side of the button, so the left hand side is for cleaning and the right hand side is for rinsing. There will be an LED light that lights up on each side depending on whether you're in the cleaning or the rinsing mode. Next, we need to place two two litre jugs or a container that can carry four litres of fluid under the nozzles. We now come to connecting up the cleaning tank. We're looking at the churn version of the machine here. The cleaning tank is filled with cleaning fluid in solution up to the top of the handles. At the bottom of the handles, as a guide, should be filled up with cold tap water. If you have, then have a water boiler, you fill up hot water from the water boiler to the top of the handles before adding your cleaning solution, the temperature of the, of the cleaning solution will be around 60 degrees, which is what we need to break down the fats. The cleaning solution we recommend is Rinza Alkaline version. Not the acid version, because the acid version can damage the machine over a period of time. We would use two measures of 60 millilitres of the concentrate, so 120 millilitres in total. Once the cleaning tank has been filled up, it's ready to connect it up to the fridge. So you need to remove the churn one at a time, place the cleaning tank in the fridge, then with the first churn undo the lid, take a cloth and wipe away any fluid on the tube cloth should be warm, dipped in warm soapy water. Move the disc around so the holes are exposed. And put the tube from the lid down into the cleaning tank. Make sure the lid is securely on the bracket. Then repeat that with the second churn. Showing you wipe the tube well so you don't get drips of milk everywhere. Push the tube down as far as you can into the cleaning tank. Now we're ready to start the cleaning cycle. So if we go over to the head, the cleaning button Press it for five seconds and wait for the second light to light up. There we go. Now we're in cleaning mode and the orange light is flashing, telling you the machine is ready to clean. So then we press the button once again to start the actual clean. So the machine now We'll pump fluid intermittently through and out into the jugs, and this will take eight minutes. Once the cleaning part of the cycle is finished, the machine will enter rinse mode automatically, as you can see from the flashing light. Now it's time to remove any fluid in the jugs, pour down a drain. Place them ready for the rinse cycle. So coming back to the machine, here we've refilled the cleaning tank with clean tap water, making sure we've 
pulling any of the cleaning fluid left over in a, maybe left over in the tank away. So just clean cold water. Take this opportunity to clean around the fridge with some antibacterial cleaner. If there's any been any milk spillage or splashages. Come back to the machine head and press the cleaning button one further time. This will dispense all the water through the machine, making sure there's no cleaning fluid left over. You can pause this by pressing the button once again, just in case your vessel's moved and it will restart from the same place if you need to. At approximately two minutes, all the water will be dispensed. You can pour this down the drain. Now it's time to just check the nozzles. So the nozzles need cleaning separately. After being left on with the cleaning cycle, so there may be some fats left over after cleaning cycle. So we've removed the sieves from the centre and clean in hot, soapy water or use some the cleaning the same rinser cleaning fluid if they're heavily soiled. Once the nozzles are replaced, the machine's ready to use again.